Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shine, by Hashem, Marakash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of great mercy, and told us this truth. Peace and blessings, and I hope they like the 144,000 men pushing this truth to hope out of sincerity across the phone lines. It's the Akakwa, back on another lesson. To the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shine. This lesson is going to be like a testimony. And, uh, Testimony and your heart rock is always edifying, you know. I've been going through some things with my, uh, with my, with my life, man, and I finally just took a faith of a, a leap of faith, you know. I went to uh, visit the Holland brothers, and uh, while being there, I realized that uh, it was time for me to take a leap of faith. It was time for me to put a lot of faith in the Lord and, and show the Lord that I do have faith in him. So thus being that, I, I just I, I had to uh, separate myself from from my life, you know, from my children, from my, my ex and from my wife. So it was a it was a thing for me where I had to really just separate myself you know and and be willing to lose everything to gain something you know and and so this lesson is about keeping faith okay this lesson is about about going through afflictions but realizing that the brothers that there are brothers that have gone through the same thing and they they have showed you through their faith and through their example that you can go ahead and make that that move and 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 be covered by Yahweh Shai, by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That he's gonna he's gonna protect you, he's gonna guide you. Okay. Okay. And through everything, he, he has you, man. You know. This is Proverbs 20, 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? You see, so this is even another uh, a reason that you, you, you may think you decided to do something, but the Lord has done it. The Lord has removed something out of your life in order for you to go ahead and grow and 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 uh, and prosper in this in this truth, in this work, in this ministry. Okay, and though it may seem like you lost everything, you've actually gained everything. You've actually gained riches and 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 uh, uh, hopeful, uh, hopefully election. You know, you've gained so much by by being in this truth. Also, oh, like yeah, I couldn't see the time. I thought the camera had stopped recording. You've gained so much by committing yourself to wisdom. You've gained so much by committing yourself wholeheartedly into your how about Shemiel and Shai. Okay? And the brother uh, in the camp, he always tells me, like, once you separate, then you're really going to test yourself. Once once you move out of the situation that you're in, you, you, you said you want more time, but when you have that time, what you're going to do? The pressure is going to be really on you. So the thing about it is the Lord put it in my spirit to 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 do something and now I have to prove it now I have the the uh, opportunity to really push myself in this truth though it seemed like I gained nothing I've actually gained the world I've actually gained riches about riches beyond measure okay so let's get into some scriptures man I'm gonna go to Hebrews first man Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, elders obtain a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of the Most High, so that things which are, which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Oh, yeah, which things do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, 
the most high testifying of his gifts and by it by and by it he being dead yet speaketh okay so faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen all right faith is the substance of things hoped for all right and when you when you hope for something and you have faith that it's going to happen you have faith in your how about shimmy was shy you know it, it proves that it, it shows it shows just how deeply you you are committed into your how about shimmy was shy your faith worketh work of things into manifestation by your how about shimmy was shy okay he's the one that's going to do everything so if you have faith in him that he he's going to give you the strength to Understand, he's going to give you the strength to persevere. He's going to give you the will and the and, and the ability to to um, go out and be and be pretty much homeless, but in the same instant hook you up. You know, everything packed in your car, everything you got is in the bag, but in the same time the Lord hook you up. He gave you a place, just like He did me. He gave me an apartment. He gave me a job. You know. He gave me a car, you know, but I just had to have faith in the Lord, man. I had to have faith in the Lord that he was going to do these things. Okay. So like you. So verse six, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is. And that he is rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right. And that's that's part of being in this truth. Being diligent in this work. And I myself, I haven't been because I've had such a, a low spirit. You know, and I see now that that was, that was another thing that the Lord made me go through because it made me feel, feel like I was worthless. You know, it made me feel like like I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do for the Lord. Okay. It made me feel like, like I wasn't keeping my, at my end of the bargain. Here it is that the Lord is doing all these things for me and I'm feeling all down, but not really seeing what the Lord has done for me. The Lord has really blessed me. He's really put me in a position to grow. Okay. So like, like for example, when you go to the gym and you always do that, which is comfortable for you, you never grow. If you only do that things that are comfortable, you know, it don't hurt. You just do it and you just get a little tingy and you're like, that's enough. You're never going to get any gains. But when you go and you lift something that really hurts, when you lift it, you, you're really pushing yourself. And afterwards, you're like, God dang, I can't do it anymore. I cannot do that anymore. That is what's going to get you that gain. Putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation. Okay. And all of this is coming out through the spirit. I didn't plan this, you know, and I'm thinking as I'm thinking through the things that have happened, I'm realizing exactly what the Lord has done. Okay. He has put me in an uncomfortable position, uncomfortable position to help me grow, to help me prosper, to help me get strength, you know, and I kept telling the brothers, especially in the brothers in Holland, that I feel like I plateaued, you know, I want more. I want to, I want to. I, I want to be stronger. And what did the Lord do? He's, he he granted me my wish. By making it look like as if I've lost everything, but actuality, I've gained everything. Okay. Bye. By faith, no one being warned of the Most High of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by which he con condemned the world, and because heir and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. Okay. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should, after receiving an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whether he went. 
By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as, a, as in a strange country, dwelling in the tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, Jacob like it, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundation, whose builder was the maker, and maker is the most high. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed, and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky and the multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. All these died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. So the point that I want to say is that all of these people died with faith in Yeho the Lord, Yehovah Shemi Oshai. All of these people saw what the Lord had said and through faith they did what the Lord told them to do. Through faith they walked by the Lord, not with their own understanding. Okay? So by faith, they did these things, man. All right. This is Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. So the point that I wanted to say is acknowledge him. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not on thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. So by thus doing that, he's going to direct your paths. He's going to put you right where you're supposed to be. He's going to put you exactly where you're supposed to be and, and make sure you get exactly what you want to get, man. You just got to Get out of your own way and allow the Lord to do the to do the work. And when you do that, you got to keep your end of the bargain. You know, He told us to to go out and feed His sheep. He told us to preach this word, be fervent in this word, and He's going to cover us. He's going to protect us. That don't don't be down when you're brought to a low estate. Don't be down when you think you lost everything. Okay. And I think the Lord did that to me to make me see just how truly valuable this truth is, for one, just how truly valuable I am in this truth, for two, and just just also to see that what my words and the things that I do help brothers, man. Brothers rely on me doing my work for, for them to be fulfilled and to, to uh, have faith. And what I say about that is not, not have faith in me, but through my faith, that boosts their faith through my faith, through my example, that boosts their, their, and make their paths and make them more fervent on their path. Okay. The Lord, the Lord does everything for a reason. He'll bring you down, bring you way down. And, and you got to see what he's trying to do. You got to understand. And how do you do that? You got to pray and meditate. You got to pray and fast. Okay. And sometimes it's good to just to just sit down and just think. Close your eyes and just think on the things that have happened. And then the Lord started bringing things back to you, little things you didn't notice. Little things that you don't notice. And, and he'll show you exactly what he's doing, man. Okay? So let's go to Jeremiah 33. Verse 3. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Okay? Call unto me. And this is how do you call unto the Lord? You first off, you gotta know his name. First off, you gotta do it as how he told you to do it. You go into a private place, you know, head uncovered. You know, be humble. 
and call unto him and he's going to answer you, man. But you just got to see it. You got to see, you got to see what he's going to, what he's saying, man. And when, and when I say see it, I mean, actually sit back and pay attention. Pay attention to the things that are happening and realize that the Lord has done these things for a reason. There is no coincidences in life. I read to you Proverbs 20, 24, the man's going to of the Lord, then how can a man understand his own way? There are no coincidences. Everything happens for a reason. Okay? Let me get uh, Romans. Ten and seventeen. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the most high. Okay, so just like I was saying, that me doing this work, I can boost another brother's faith. Bring out precepts that he hasn't heard. Okay? And that's part of keeping your, your end of the bargain for you. How about Shem Shai? He told Peter to feed my lambs three times. Okay? And, and and there was a reason for that because it shows you that this work right here in these last days and, and if you can't see that we're in the last days then you, you've been living under a rock but this work in these last days is very important we, we're doing this to make our calling true and sure hopefully to be found uh, uh, worthy when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, when Yahweh Shai returns man when he comes with that great fury, you don't want to be the end, on the end of that fury. You want to be, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that fury. You want to be on the side that's helping give that fury of the elect. Okay. I'm going to first, first Thessalonians. Chapter 1, verse 3. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience and hope of in our Lord Hamashiach Yahushai in the sight of the Most High and our Father. Knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of the Most High, for our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost and in much assurance as ye know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. Ye became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost, so that ye were examples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. For, for from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place of faith to Godward is spread abroad so that we need not to speak anything. You see? Let me read that again, man. Okay? Let me read it again and I'm going to break it down. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of, of hope in, in our Lord Hamashiach Yahushai in the sight of the Most High and our Father. All right. So remembering without ceasing your work. So doing this work without ceasing, doing this work without, without, without stopping. You know, you're going to fail, of course. But that's why it says... With patience and hope in our Lord. Because through patience and hope, we build our faith. Okay? You're going to go through things that are going to knock you down, are going to bring you low. It's going to take take you in, in, a, in a route that, that you don't think you can get through, but you can. The military showed me that. Okay? You're going to be put in a position where you, you, you think you ain't going to make it through it. Or I can't do this, but you can through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the creator of all things, you can. Okay? 
and and this lesson is to make sure that you to hopefully make sure that you understand that you're not alone all right the eyes of the Lord are in every place, Proverbs 15 and 3, beholding the good and the evil. He sees everything, all right? And right here it says, in the sight of our, of, of the Most High and our Father, Yahweh. okay? Knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of the Most High, because we were called by the Most High to do this work. For our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost, and in much assurance, as ye know, what manner of men we were, were among you for your sake. See, so the Holy Ghost and power came and gave you this word. Okay, not just through, not, not just word itself, the, 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 the spirit, the Holy Ghost, the, the, the true essence of Yahweh Shai came and gave you this word, man. All right. And ye became followers of us and of the Lord having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost. See, so you're going to go through things in this word. Much affliction. All right. So that ye were examples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. So wherever we are, put instead of putting Macedonia there, put Germany. Okay. Instead of putting Achaia there, put Babylon. Put uh, 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 Costa Rica put Nigeria this word applies to every land okay for for from you sounded out the word of Yahweh not only in Macedonia in Germany and in Achaia but also in every place your faith to God word is spread abroad so this 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 word is spread abroad through what the internet okay this video can go from here all the way to Babylon, to Wyoming, to 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 Texas, to Florida, to uh, to wherever it needs to go. Thus, spreading this word, our faith, our faith, showing men all over the world our faith through through and and Yahweh Shimei our Shai. Okay, so that we need not speak anything, for they themselves show of what manner of entering in we will. We had unto you and how ye turned to the Most High from idols to serve the living true power and to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Hamashiach Yehoshai, which delivered us from the wrath to come. You see? So we show through fervent faith and become examples unto the world through this word, through this truth, through the afflictions that we go through. You know, being brought low, being taken, having everything taken from you. But then the Lord will give you everything in return. Okay. Let's go to. Uh, James. Two and twenty six. Salaki. Uh, let me read it up here. This is James 2 and 17. Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Verse 18. Yet a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. You see, I will show you my faith by my works, through your actions, okay? And that's keeping this word, that's pushing this word, though you be in a low estate. And this is talking about myself. I'm, I'm trying to be an example unto the brothers, okay? 
Because you're going to go through things, man. You're going to be taken from your comfortableness if you want to grow in this truth. You're going you're gonna to have to go where you, you've never gone before. It's with, it's with working out. It's with trying to become a, a better person at anything. Drawing. Uh, learning an a, 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 a instrument. Okay? Being an artist. Running. Working out. You got to go to a place where you've never gone before. And that's that's the only way you're going to build up strength. That's the only way that you're going to better yourself. You can't stay comfortable. Okay? It's not going to work. You're only going to get so much. A plateau. You got to shed that place, you know, and switch it up on, on your body. You got to go to another place that you haven't gone before. All right? And your hard work is out. I'm an example of that. Okay, through my faith, I have done these things. Okay, I have lost everything to gain the world, to gain the 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 the, uh, the right of rulership of these nations. Yahweh is up to gain more wisdom, to gain more understanding. You gotta lose little things to gain the world, man. You gotta push yourself in an uncomfortable position to gain everything in this truth. And that's only how you're going to get stronger. Okay? Uh, verse 20, This is James chapter 2, verse 26. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So you got to show your faith to your work. All right? And I often, I had a, we had a, a dude... Uh, come to the camp talking about he is he a Muslim and he believe in Islam, but he shaved his beard. Okay, we had another guy come to the camp saying that he he loved he loved Jesus, but don't do nothing that the word says. Okay, so let me get this last precept. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Hamashaki Hawashai, nourishing the words of faith and of good doctrine whereunto thou hast attained. Okay? So, if thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, and the um, I bring this precept out because if you can stir the brothers' minds up in this truth, stir the brothers' minds up of 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 how uh, 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 Noah had faith, how Abraham had faith, how Isaac and how Jacob and David and all of these men that are written in this book had faith in Yahweh Hashem Shai. It says, "What thou shalt be a good minister of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai." Nourished when you nourish something, you fully clothe them. You you give them substance. You give them you you, you make them healthy. Okay, nourished up. In the words of faith and of good doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. You see? And the only way you're going to attain this is if you go somewhere where you haven't been before. Only way you're going to get really wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is where you go somewhere where you, you it's going to hurt. You're going to have to sacrifice something. Okay? Esau tell you uh, nothing cometh without sacrifice. This truth is the same way. Nothing cometh without sacrifice. Didn't we have to sacrifice in the ancient days? Was not Yahweh Shai the, the biggest sacrifice for us to get back into this truth? There has there's a sacrifice that you, if you want this word, if you want to have, if you have, want to have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you have to sacrifice something, man. Okay. You can only get so far with comfortableness. This is First Peter, chapter one. By, and seven, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perishes, 
though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Hamashiach Yehoshai, whom having not seen, ye love, and whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with all joy, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. You see? I'm going to read it again and I'm going to break it down. The trial of your faith. Uh, this is 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 7. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than gold, than that of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Hamashiach Yehoshai. So you're going to be rewarded for, for having that much faith that will be tried by affliction, fire, and gold. I mean, uh, as gold is. Okay? Whom having not seen uh, at the appearing of Hamashiach, whom having not seen ye love. So we haven't seen Yehoshai, but we love him. And how, what did Yehoshai say? If ye love me, keep my commandments. That's how we show through our action, through our faith. Being willing to lose everything, being willing to be called a reproach, I mean, being willing to be reproached and called an outcast, a radical, to go against this system, to 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 actually change your life, to learn, unlearn everything that this system has taught us, and learn how we should live from these scriptures. To to check in every label to see if there's glycerin in there, just so you don't upset the Lord. Okay, doing doing the little things to show the Lord that yo, I I love you, man. I love this word. I love what you have given me. Okay? Though now ye see him not, yet believing, through faith we believe, ye rejoice with full, ye rejoice with joy, unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. And at the end of our faith, Having faith in Yahweh Shai, Yahweh we get salvation when he returns. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. You see? So we're prophesying unto the elect and the numeral uh, uh, multitude of one third men, women, and children salvation through our faith, through 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 the, the belief in Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. Okay? So with that, your heart and mother's eye of blessing was edifying. Until next time, Shalom.